Hello and welcome to Big Brother. My name is Mike Goldman and in half an hour, Friday Night Live and Uncle Sam wants you to watch because it's USA night down in the arena. Yeah. But right now, it's the day after the night before on The Daily Show as the housemates come to grips with one of the most explosive nights in Big Brother history. See you at 7.30. Previously in the Big Brother house, a night of high drama. I believe that you have got some tactics and you're playing the game. Will I prove to you I'm not playing the game by leaving right now? Is that what you want? There's no way, there's no way I'm going to put up with this anymore. Big Brother, I want out. I want out. I still feel a little bit embarrassed, actually a lot embarrassed by my behaviour. Tonight on Big Brother, friendships are questioned. People feel that your friendship with Darren is a profitable alliance for him. He's never going to stick with you the way I will. Apologies are given. That wasn't my tactic for you to walk out or to push you. And Jamie does his best to keep everyone entertained. Put crystal sunglasses on. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm going to make some porridge, if anyone's interested. Would you like some, David? I won't have no, any. No. Thanks. After last night's arguments and David's threat to leave, housemates are treading lightly this morning. Did anyone talk to him last night? Porridge Hi. done? Perry, talk to him. Oh, just saying, talk to David. Oh, he he came in and he was laughing. He goes, oh, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so sorry. Act like it, you know, nothing had happened. Something. I'd hugged him and I said, I'm glad that you're here. Mm -hmm. And, um. Told you I wouldn't go home. Huh? Told you wouldn't go home. Well, that's a cop out. Crystal, you cease to amaze me. I must say, but, um, nothing changes with what I said. No, I said, neither. I honestly, from the, my concern in my heart, I'd like to talk to him with mind. him again about it. Maybe when he's feeling a bit better. Yeah, and that's what I said to him. Tonight or tomorrow? He said to me, he said, um, oh, you know, we can talk tomorrow, so it's fine. I said, when you're ready to talk, we can talk. I said, I just wanted to know that you're okay mentally. Yeah. How you feeling? Exhausted. Exhausted. Yep. Embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. Etc. etc. Don't be embarrassed. Seriously, don't be embarrassed. Mm. Hey Darren. Yeah. How much porridge do you want? It's like how long is a piece of string? Yes, that's true. It's never the same quantity. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Give me a hug. It's very embarrassed. <laughs> You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the shame of it all. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry that I wrecked your um your first uh, well, shopper's chef Wednesday yes, night. Totally right? I think it was more more me having way too many issues from the last week, and um, I acted in a way that I'm extremely ashamed of and uh, very very embarrassed. You don't ever be embarrassed for crying. That's just being silly. David, I'm putting the milk away, all right? No matter what the scenario is. But you don't need to apologise to me. Go. Well, I am sorry. You you were there for me, and I thought oh. I don't know. I just had this thing in my head yesterday that every female in this house was just ganging up. Was against you. Yeah. And that's just the impression I got. And no, don't. and then I was just. Might like, be what a case the... with the other three, but I'm certainly not included in that. I don't believe in ganging up on any scale whatsoever, and I don't believe in going along with the bad wagon either. Like, I heard comments last night, but my opinion still stands, and until you change my opinion of you, then I'll change my opinion. And I let the girls know that. So, um, have you spoken to David at all? You know, he knows he overreacted. Oh, I definitely today's would gonna... be embarrassed. Today's the worst punishment. Yeah. Today's the worst punishment for him. Not to say that no, he needs to be punished. I'm not going to say anything to him today, but I'll say later on when he can... when he's in a better state of mind, I'll say... I do agree with Perry that you're playing the game. And these are why. I'm just 
is telling you. I still don't know if he is, I think. No, I'm not trying to convince you that he is either. I'm just saying that I... But it's definitely brought an interesting um, argument to my attention. Well, yeah, and I'm... Someone chucking a tantrum doesn't change my opinion, OK? That's all I'm saying. Coming up, Camilla sticks with the old and sticks it to the new. Darren and Perry are not people that I find it very easy to live with. To evict David, SMS David to 199 evict. To save David, SMS David to 199 to say. Or call 1902 555567 and follow the prompts. I'm not taking away what I said. Perry and David take the opportunity to clear the air after last night's arguments. Yeah. And I'm, I'm silly to think that, that just, just my words can change people's opinions and I've been doing that way too much, especially in the last few weeks, thinking that, yeah. that, um, that it's my, my duty to be doing that. It's not yeah. my duty. Everyone has the right to think what they think and, yeah. and at the end of the day, it'll all become plain for those people. Yeah. I shouldn't be... I shouldn't be some crusader wanting but to no, get, get a point across. I mean, everyone has a right to a view, and it's they not do. for me to be not for me to be spending the rest of my life trying to change people's views. I mean, yeah, or educating them. I do not want to make it worse or get involved at all. I just think that people should relax, man. I know. I don't know you. I've enjoyed our conversations, do you know what I mean? But from knowing in 10 days, yeah. from what I've seen, I may be wrong. But yeah, and I, it's, it's, it, what is wrong is me trying to change that opinion. Yeah. Same as with, with your views on, on anything or your misunderstanding that I yeah. see, I don't have to give you an understanding and I've been trying too hard in these last couple of weeks yeah. to, to try and make people understand stuff or try and give as much understanding as I can and I should just back off. I'm going to put on some really weird clothes and then go and sit outside with everyone and see if they know. <laughs> I reckon, and put crystal sunglasses on. <laughs> Count Pimpilla. And I would have been a bit sad if you would have walked out last night. Honestly. Yeah, and I'm glad you didn't. OK, you got to stick it out and do what you got to do. That wasn't my tactic for you to walk out or to push you. Didn't think that it was. I'm good. Yeah, I'm just making that clear. I'm going to go and interrupt the uh, <laughs> discussions. <laughs> if you've got memories coming up, you're then you're thinking about those things and sure. getting feeling worse and worse and worse, and then not not being. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I think tolerance and patience at the dinner table would have helped as well. Yeah. With the whole group. Like, obviously, you and me are pretty... I think we're very patient people. Yeah. And Jamie as and well. And Jamie. But other three... Crystal generally is. Yeah. Last night, she just had too many amped up emotions about yeah, definitely. her attitude towards Dave. Yeah. Which she expressed after the dinner. Yeah. And I was very surprised by what she had to say, but... Oh, it upset me that in the spa everyone was laughing and that. Yeah, I sat in the lounge. I wanted to be. I felt uncomfortable. I um. I just. I, didn't I was want mucking to be. around, but not laughing at Dave's expense. Yeah. So. Mm. I'm not used to. I'm not used to yelling. I'm not used to tears. I'm not used to people. But no, I don't. I don't know. I, I, I just last night I was not not comfortable. Yeah, fair That's enough. That's all it comes down to. How are you feeling, Dave? Um, better. Better than three minutes ago. Okay. Cool. The benefit of crazy housemates. The distractions. Yeah, exactly. Dave, I just want you to know that I don't think you're playing the game. Um, I found the point of views of a couple of people interesting and I did listen and regardless of um, our 